Hi, my name is Norman and I'm a pre-sales consultant at Exact. In this video, we'll walk through the basics of Exact Online manufacturing. So let's jump into the process right away. In Exact Online manufacturing, just like accounting, CRM is always included. This means you can start by registering an opportunity. From there, you can create a quotation, optionally based on an item's bill of materials or calculation from an external tool. Once the offer is accepted, a sales order gets created. If you operate according to the make to stock method, the goods delivery naturally follows if stock is available. Before, during or after, you're able to send the invoice, which is followed by a received payment, as shown in the top right corner of the process flow. When using the make to order method, a shop order will be created automatically for applicable items, which you can see under the sales order box. Once shop orders are created, you're able to schedule these based on the required operations and available work centers. Furthermore, you can have employees create time entries for shop orders to keep track of your shop order costs. During manufacturing of items from a shop order, you can issue materials from stock and place purchase orders for other materials or subcontracts. They both result in received invoices and outgoing payments as shown at the bottom of the flowchart. All these actions are automatically registered by various entries in your bookkeeping in the background, so you can always keep track of your company's financial situation. Now the process is clear, let's see how this works in the software based on a product that we will quote and manufacture. Exact Online is accessible from your favorite browser on every computer that's connected to the internet. You simply log in using your username and password. For extra security, we use two-factor authentication to make sure it's you. After login, your default dashboard will show, which is something you can alter. On the top left corner, you see which company you're currently working in. This means you can have multiple companies in a single license. Further down the blue bar, you see a search box where you can search for basically everything. Next to it, we find partners. Here you can look up and link your accountant or one of our many App Center partners. Click on support for instant help based on the page you're currently on, find webinars or reach out to our support colleagues for support or virtual classroom training sessions. On the right side, we find our username. Underneath, you'll find the white process bar from which you can start every process. By hovering over manufacturing shop orders, for instance, you're able to create new shop orders, get an overview of existing shop orders, and you can view various reports. Now let's look up an item we can offer and manufacture. Via inventory, items, overview, we can see all our items. When I click on the KDR 400 item code, the item card opens. Here we can see all things relevant to this item, such as properties like make, bill of materials and serial. This means it's an item that needs to be manufactured, is made from multiple materials and is serial number sensitive. So every item comes with a unique serial number. By clicking on bill of materials in the column, we can see multiple bumps. If we click on a specific version, we can see the required materials and routing. Now we know what we can offer. Let's create an opportunity by hovering over sales, opportunities, and click create. After filling in all the desired information, I save the opportunity. From the opportunities overview, I can keep track of all opportunities or just mine, and I can immediately see what every next action is. This opportunity shows I need to create a quotation, so let's do that right away by opening the opportunity and then click on the quotation button. Most information is pre-filled this way, but you can create quotations through multiple ways. I only need to add the items I would like to offer to my prospect, which in this case are two filling machines. By clicking on the icon under copy, I can select which bill of materials I would like to use and whether I want to make changes to the routing or materials. After selecting the bomb, I can immediately see my margin. I think we're all set, so we can click on email to send the quote. The preview looks okay, so I hit send. From the quotations overview, I can keep track of my outstanding quotes. 
if the prospect accepts the quote, I simply open the quote and click on accept. Here I can optionally select a reason and have the software create a sales order. Every line can be in or excluded from acceptance, which can be useful if a customer wants two items quoted, from which one will be chosen. All items that need manufacturing have a checkbox that triggers the creation of a new shop order. We're all set, so I click on process and the sales order automatically pops up. In my case, the sales order needs to be approved. However, this is optional. After approval, I can click on open next to the shop order number to open the automatically generated shop order. On the shop order page, all relevant information is shown. What item will be manufactured, which bomb is used and plenty other things. To walk through the manufacturing steps, I can use the six buttons. First, I need to purchase the materials for this shop order that I don't have in stock. All suggested items are linked to one or more suppliers and I can choose if I want to use my main supplier, go for the lowest purchase price or shortest lead time. I leave everything unchanged and click on create purchase orders. From the purchase orders overview that automatically pops up, I can open these orders and send them directly to the supplier. After receiving the materials, I can issue them. All items have the suggested amounts pre-filled, so I simply click process. If some work is done elsewhere by subcontractors, such as powder coating a steel frame, I can click on purchase subcontracts. Time entry lets me enter worked hours for this shop order per operation, but I can also have my employees enter this themselves by providing a smart shop floor user. Here, they can issue materials themselves, use start stop for time entries, or fill in the information manually. For most operations in this shop order, time is automatically calculated using the backflash method. Based on my experience, I can make detailed estimates for every operation, so my employees don't need to fill this in. The operation final assembly can vary, however, so that's the only step I let them fill in manually. If I go back to the shop order overview for my own user, I can see one of the employees has entered his assembly time and it got finalized. Apparently that took less time than expected, which is nice. If you end up with byproducts during the manufacturing process, you can receive them separately. When all operations are completed, I can click on finish shop order. Here I can fill in the quantity to receive. I can directly create a goods delivery and click on process. From the goods delivery, I need to select serial numbers. By clicking on generate, the software will generate serial numbers based on my first entry, after which I can click OK to link them to the items. Now I see there are two serial numbers linked so I can process the goods delivery. When we go back to the shop order card, the status is now finished and all other operations are backflushed. Now all that's left is invoicing. Via sales orders overview, I can find and open the order. I simply click on invoice, create sales invoice and print or email the invoice for the customer. Afterwards, I'm able to check my shop order results for this specific order by opening the shop order results report. I can instantly see the order amount, manufacturer amount and my sales margin. By clicking on the manufacturer amount, I can see the estimates, actuals and difference per tab. The latter being very informative as to where the biggest gain or loss has been during manufacturing. In my case, the time saved during final assembly resulted in a positive difference in operations of 60 euros. This information is crucial to maintain healthy margins, which result in continuity for your company. And that's what Exact Online for Manufacturing looks like. If you would like to request a more extensive demo of Exact Online Manufacturing, get in touch with us. Thank you for watching and have a great day.